So Nenmak is finally back making Hunter Hunter videos. I know guys it's been a long time. I did promise a video like two weeks ago or three weeks three weeks ago and I never I never showed up. I'm not gonna lie, yo. I felt like a dead video. I'm not gonna lie. You know, whenever those TV shows or movies where like a character like says they're going to the store and they never come back, that's pretty much what I pulled, yo. And I have to apologize. There will be many, many Hunter Hunter videos coming out soon. Trust me, guys. I was slacking, but not anymore. I finally got time to make these Hunter Hunter videos. And today's video is actually a big video, a special video which I've been planning for a long time. I think months I've been planning this video, maybe a year. I'm not too sure, but still. I have made many power scaling videos on Hunter Hunter characters, single characters. But in this video, there's actually a data book which measures every single character: spirit, skill, strength, nan, and talent. Also, intelligence. So these six categories are measured in actual facts by Togashi. So in today's video, I'll actually discuss every single power level Hunter Hunter character. You guys will be excited, hyped. It's gonna be crazy because these are facts. These are not even speculation. These are things that Togashi actually written down. And I'll go from the weakest to strongest. So stay tuned for the end of the video because I will be going from weakest to strongest. And you want to see the strongest, of course. So definitely stay tuned. Or uh, yeah, you might be, uh, how do I say this, uh, disappointed. Now the weakest character in the actual data book is Zushi. If you guys remember who Zushi is, he was the kind of karate kid that was learning in the heaven. I think it was Heavenly Tower arc. Uh, his teacher was Wing. And he also was a student before Kilo and Gon became students of Wing 2. And... Pretty much he is the weakest. Everything is a one in every single category. Skill, sp uh, strength, nen, talent, intelligence, all at one. But the thing that he's actually very entertaining is, not entertaining, but very interesting is he has a two in spirit. And I definitely feel like when Zushi becomes older, if there's ever a time skip in Hunter Hunter, if he gets older, he might have a five in spirit at the end of the story, yo. Because Zushi, he's just working hard, working effort. Yo. He wasn't progressing like going in Killua, but he was working so hard. I want to see this guy do great things. This guy is the weakest character in the data booklet. The next character we're gonna talk about is Zapelli. I don't know if you guys remember him. He was the guy who was pretty much bargaining in the actual arc of, uh, I believe it was York New. He was helping them. He's helping going Killua and Le Leorio. So this guy he was a pretty cool character. He pretty much has a three. Uh, he has a three in spirit and intelligence. Those are his two most uh, things, like most skilled things, uh, spirit and intelligence. And it makes sense though that he was intelligent when it comes to bargaining, and he had a great spirit. He's always optimistic. So this character he wasn't didn't seem like a really powerful fighting character but he is in his data booklet so cool stuff the next character is Leorio. Yes, my favorite character in Hunter Hunter. And he pretty much also has a three in spirit and intelligence. That's the thing which he has. So pretty, pretty cool stuff that Leorio has pretty much the same thing as Zepelli when it comes to what he's pretty much focusing on. I do want to say this. He seems to be more of a fighting guy. He's a doctor, of course. I think Leorio will improve very, very immensely because of the surroundings he's in. It's, whereas Zepelli might just stay the same. I think Leorio will improve. Look at the Eloy. Leorio is right now with uh, the Zodiac right now. These guys are already making major improvements. You gotta respect that. Now next to Leorio, of course, is the Ant Queen. The Ant Queen, I believe, had a 3 in intelligence and a 3 in strength. That was pretty much cool for the Ant Queen. And also also next to Leorio when it comes to strength is Komugi, who pretty much has 0 in Nanyu. That was crazy, but 4 in talent and spirit. Yo. So big things there for Komugi. Honestly, huge things. The next character on my list is Rama uh pretty much skill strength nan pretty much had threes in all three of these categories and that was pretty much what made him pretty powerful these three categories having threes in them uh we all saw him versus gone and Killua. uh he, he was a imp pretty impressive camera and when early in the arc but as we saw more and more camera ants and how powerful they got he definitely seemed to be how to say it's lesser but still yo pretty cool stuff here the next one is actually chitu yes chitu has a four and nen and that's pretty good if you have a four in a category that's pretty impressive yo and we also have chitu he he did seem impressive but he did get tricked by morel and he got destroyed by silva chitu did seem impressive he was a how to say a powerful Khmer ant i'm not going to disrespect chitu because the l's he took in the arc i also want to say this i believe kortopi uh is in this same category as chitu and Ilkago had a four in spirit, which was crazy. Honestly, if you have a four in anything, like I said, yo, I gotta give you some respect. 
uh Okago had a foreign spirit so i will give that dude some respect and uh uh Kurtopi had pretty much threes all across the board so uh Kurtopi was an average but he's a fan of Trupio. Uh, he, his copy ability is crazy honestly you gotta respect it now when it comes to the next list the next list of people actually has two people in the same equal level M Meliorin, this guy who's a pretty much a uh, ch chameleon or uh, 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 he was a person who can actually camouflage that animal that lizard like animal i think i got a right chameleon but i'm not too sure if i did get it right his name is melorian uh he's a chimera ant he had a four in spirit and four in intelligence he was very intelligent and his, his, i'm not gonna lie his, and then his hack still the way he can turn other people invisible and like not just turn invisible like your whole zen is gone everything like that it was crazy hold his breath also zazan is in the same category as melorian and zazan has a four and nen we all saw how powerful she was against Phaeton, so i gotta respect zazan yeah she was in my opinion the strongest chimera ant other than the actual uh uh, actual uh, royal guards the next on the list is actually Kurapika Kurapika had a two in talent uh, uh, which really shocked me, honestly. When I seen Kurpika have a two in talent, but that's what he had. But he had a four in Nen and intelligence, and we all saw how his Nen, what he did, the the risk he took when it comes to his Nen. So of course he should have a four, and it's intelligence. Kurpika is one of the smarter characters in the actual Hunter Hunter story, so you can't disrespect him there. I also believe that uh, the guy from the actual Greed Island arc, uh, he was a main guy. It's hard for me to pronounce his name. Says Guerrera. Uh, I think the T is silent. He had a f in four, and I believe in intelligence so cool stuff there and leo remember leo he had a four in spirit so that's pretty cool the lion he got took an l to morel but still he was one of the more powerful chimera ants uh definitely want to say you got i respect that i respect that and then the next on the list is actually Welfin. and Welfin, yes he was on the same level as leo and zazan but honestly he actually has the highest when it comes to not being a royal guard he has the highest he has a four in net and a four in intelligence when it comes to the categories and i do want to say this the fact that he's a four in net four in intelligence uh you gotta respect that honestly i do think that zazan was the strongest physically uh when, when the way she looked in fate and fight i believe she was the strongest but i will respect that leolo and uh, wealth and were higher on the data booklet they were higher because they had a uh, four leo had a four in spirit i believe and uh leo was only high by one while uh I, I will rank Zazan has a four in Nen, and Nen is the main component of battling in Hunter Hunter, so that's why Zazan, I believe, is stronger, even though uh, Welfin has a four in Nen, too. So I believe Welfin might be a little bit closer, and his intelligence is a four, too. He has fours in two categories, so I respect that. Next on the list is Nov, and Nov actually is very, very impressive, yo. He has a four in everything except spirit and talent. And we all saw how scared he was against the Royal Guards uh, when he was touched with the N. Uh, like, uh, of course, his spirit has to be low, and his talent also but his four and everything else yo i gotta respect that yo he pretty much has a four in skill a four in strength a four in nen a four in intelligence yo respect that no i'm gonna give you my respect his pupil is on the same level as him so that was pretty interesting when it comes to the data booklet four in nen and five in talent yo this is the first five we're talking about actually yo uh, like that's crazy honestly that's that's it's insane to see the first five and it comes from palm his student yo intense stuff and we all saw palm versus gone uh, yeah her talent was shocking to us yo palm was impressive yo. you gotta respect that next on the list is actually wing and wing had a four in everything except talent uh i've always hyped up uh wing when it comes to his power the fact that he's above so many characters that are really really powerful he pretty much was above kurapika yo respect that yo that's crazy i do want to say this wing uh has a four in everything except talent his hatsu has been teased uh, yeah, the reveal to his Hatsu, I need it. I definitely need to see Wing's actual Hatsu. The hype is real. The hype won't die down for Wing's Hatsu. I, I think a lot of people in the comment section will be on the same wavelength as me, wanting to see Wing's Hatsu. Now also, Shoot and Knuckle, this tandem, Shoot had the skill, strength, and Nen at 4, while Knuckle had the spirit, skill, strength, and Nen at 4. Well, I forgot to mention that Shoot has a 4 in intelligence too. So, Shoot has a 4 in intelligence, skill, strength, and then, well, Knuckle has spirit, skill, strength, and then. The spirit and intelligence is what the difference between these two characters, but they're pretty much the same level as you saw. They were battling Royal Guards, yo. That's why they're so high up on the data booklet, honestly, yo. They were battling Royal Guards. I don't care much how much help they, help they had. Face Royal Guards, and a lot of times they were by themselves when they were facing the Royal Guards in periods of time. So, respect, yo. Respect that. Now, next on the list is the main characters. Gon has 
has a skill level of three, but he has a talent of five, which is special. Anyone who has a five in a category is special to me, honestly. So the fact that he has a five, I respect it. Uh, he's the second five we've seen in the actual data booklet as of yet, but I haven't named him the rest of the fives. That's way high up on the list. Also, Killua has a talent level of three, but everything else is four. So the fact that uh, it's pretty much the opposite of Gon. Gon had a five talent. Killua actually has a very, very bad talent at three, but everything else is four. So he's he's impressive and everything else while Gon has a three in skill. So that's pretty cool, honestly, seeing the contrast of Killua and Gon. Yo, these two are the main characters. Now, on the same level as Killua and Gon is actually their teacher, Kite. Yo, Kite had a talent level of three, but everything else had a four in it. So he's kind of in the same level when it comes to uh, Killua. Morel also has a talent level of three, everything else four. So talent for Killua, Kite, and Morel were the downfalls. And in Genthru, he had a uh, spirit of three. And my surprise, you saw how Genthru, the way he behaved in Greed Island, everything else was a four, I believe, but yeah, he had a spirit of three. So interesting stuff, yeah, interesting stuff. As you could tell, uh, Kite, Morel, Genthru, and Killua all had fours except one category, which is three. But Gon had actually one category of three, but he had an exceptional category of five. The data books are crazy. Now, the next on the list is actually getting to now impressive levels. Hisoka. Hisoka had a five in talent, just like his, uh, how to say this, future battle uh, component, Gon. He had a five in talent, just like Gon, but he had a three in spirit. As you see, Gon had a three in skill. Hisoka actually had a three in spirit. And we've seen at moments, Hisoka doesn't seem like the most like hype dude, yo. He's chilling a lot of times, yo, being coy. I do want to say it's pretty interesting. Thing. And Razor is actually said to be on the same level as Hisoka. We saw how powerful Razor was, yo. He was impressive in Greed Island. He actually has a four in every single category. So yeah, cool stuff, yo. Cool, cool stuff. <laughs> Now the next on the list is Krolo, and Krolo actually is above Hisoka in the data booklet, just how he beat Hisoka in the, the manga, but a lot of people like to say that Hisoka is stronger than Krolo. It's a really tough, weird thing in the community of Hunter x Hunter. Uh, I think Krolo is stronger as of now, but maybe in the future Hisoka might get stronger, who knows. I do want to say this though, he has a 5 in spirit. Uh, that was crazy how Korolo has a 5 in spirit uh, as you saw Gon and Killua had a 5 in talent and Palm I believe had a 5 in actual talent I believe yeah she had a 5 in talent so yeah talent was the biggest thing that a lot of cool characters had under his uh, Krolo but Krolo had a 5 in spirit 4 and everything else so impressive stuff from Krolo of course this guy is the leader of the Phantom Troop <laughs> now we're about to get to the level of characters who have 5s in multiple categories so it prepared to be odd uh, Biscuit Biscuit a lot of people don't understand the biscuit is very very powerful you have to respect that she used a mass she's the master of a master she's the master of wing who's the master of going to kill we saw how powerful going to kill a war were and then we saw how powerful wing is uh yeah the fact that she's a master to the master you have to respect biscuit five in spirit we've seen how vocal she is five in strength oh yeah we saw her true form not surprised biscuit is a beast though she's a beast you can't disrespect and look how old she is too yo. she's a beast she's a beast she's a beast and she knew she knows about the top five nine user she named uh jing fleece as a top five men users so powerful people know other powerful people yo it's just common sense Next on the list is actually a royal guard, UP. UP had a 5 in spirit, a 5 in skill, a 5 in strength, and a 5 in nen. But the thing is, he had a 3 in talent. Yo. His talent level was pretty much low, and he had a 4 in intelligence. So his talent and intelligence uh, really brought him low down. But everything else was 5. Look how 5s he got in categories. Yo. Like I said, spirit, skill, strength, and uh, I mean, spirit uh, and strength. Uh, no, 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 spirit, skill, strength, and nen. He had a 5 in those four categories. Tab 5 and 4 categories. I was having a biscuit for two. Neopia has five and four categories. It's just talent intelligence is just lower. That's what it is, honestly. You can't, like, what can we say? The next Royal Guard actually is uh, Pito. Pito and uh, Poofio, they're on the same level. So Yupi was a little bit lower because the talent is a three. The Royal Guard should not be able to have a three in any category, but Yupi had a three in talent, so that brought him down just a little bit lower than the other two. Though I do think that in a fight, that's not going to really determine it because uh, he has a five in spirit, skill, strength, and Nandio. Those are really important when it comes to battle. I do want to say Pito has a 5 in skill, strength, nen, and talent. Uh, nen, talent, and skill, and strength. Though. Pito has probably the best combination of categories when it comes to the uh, Phantom Troop, I mean, the Royal Guards. So I don't say Pito probably is the strongest of the Royal Guards, that's my guess. And then Poof, yo, he had a 5 in everything, yo. Isn't that crazy how Poof had a 5 in everything but one category? And that one category was Spirit, yo. Poof had a three in spirit, and we saw Poof, yo, the psychological. This guy was a sicko, yo. Definitely want to say it makes sense to him to have five and everything except spirit. Uh, Pete, yo, Poof, I'm not gonna lie, yo. If, yo, if his spirit was up, he could be the strongest uh, royal guard, yo, if his spirit was up, yo. His spirit was lacking heavy. 
And then the final character on the list is Netro. Netro had all five zeros. He had five in spirit, skill, strength, nen, talent, intelligence. And we saw in the beginning of the series, though, Netro was hyped up. And for good reasons, honestly. As you see in the data booklet, Togashi gave him the utmost respect. Uh, this guy, uh, yeah, you saw him in the battle against Metal Wim, yo. He's, he's, he's one of the GOATs, yo. He's one of the GOATs of Hunter Hunter. There's nothing more to say. Now that I finished ranking everybody in the data booklet, I do want to say this. Metal Wim is not on the list. Uh, it makes sense, yo. Metal Wim probably surpasses everything on this list, yo. We saw how P Netro pretty much gave him his all, and still, Metal Wim was uh, just a couple of scratches on him, honestly, yo. So, Metal Wim was a beast. Plus, the post nuke Metal Wim is on completely unthinkable levels of power. Adult Gon was also not on this list. It was said to be on the same level as Metal Wim before the nuke. So, definitely want to say Adult Gon seems to be uh, past Netro, as they're saying, but I'm not too sure 100%. I also want to say this that Jing Freak is not on the list so maybe he just want to spoil jing freeze characters like uh jing freaks periston uh boltabai like so many characters like that but it's cool stuff honestly but still i want to see these guys level because these guys are the future when it comes to the dark continent don't freaks hype stuff hype stuff hype stuff but tell me your thoughts down in the comment section down below what do you think about this crazy hunter hunter power level video i made it was a very long video honestly i'm, I'm actually fatigued talking for this long about the power levels but i think it was an important video a special video that you guys wanted to see there's more videos coming out so stay tuned turn on your notifications honestly i'm telling you guys right now youtube is broken right now turn on your notifications subscribe button is it works but it's not as good as the notification like and share if you enjoyed like and share only if you enjoyed and subscribe for more hunter hunter content i'm then mac and i'm gone